Graham, thanks for, for joining us after training today. It's been a double day on the Monday of the Wales Week. What does a coach like you want to see on from a day like today? Monday, I've forgotten what day it is. It's, the week changes with a uh, Friday night game. Um, it's been a good day. Um, plenty of technical work done this morning. And this afternoon, uh, training with a lot of intensity. We tend to these days train very quickly because that's the international game. Can you give us a sense of the mood amongst the players? They're going to have a day off tomorrow, but the game's fast approaching. Yeah, the game is fast approaching. We've had them in for nearly 10 days now. And there's a real sense of desperation uh, within the team to achieve everything they can. How much do you think their mentality is affected by what happened two years ago? <laughs> two years ago. Yeah, we learnt a lot that night um, about pressure. It was an incredible atmosphere. Um, but those guys, you know, we've, we spoke a lot about it. Uh, those guys have learnt a lot that night. And those guys who weren't involved have learnt a lot from speaking to the players who've experienced it that night as well. How does it change your mentality as a coach when you've coached the majority of these Wales players for the Lions? How does, does it make it harder knowing their quality or does it make it easier knowing a bit more about them? Oh, it makes it easier. You, you, certain, you certainly know about their, their player traits. Taxi, what's that for? <laughs> it certainly helps having worked with them. Uh, for the Lions, you certainly you get to know a lot about guys. And working with them for three three or so months, you know about their traits, but you also know about their strengths as well. And I got a lot of respect for the the Welsh outfit. So do you have the utmost respect for someone like Sam Wharton? Fifty caps, isn't he, this Friday? Yeah, yeah, he's a thorough professional, is Sam. Um, you know, one of the best in the world in his position. And you know, you know, we've spoken about him a lot because he deserves that respect. Talk to me a bit about Samson Lee as well, someone you've perhaps haven't coached, but someone who's been impressive so far, well, in the last 18 months or so. He's come on, hasn't he? And they've stuck with him. They've, they've not gone with the temptation of picking Adam Jones. He's, he's a fine player, don't get me wrong. But I, know, I like Samson Lee. Uh, good, honest, proactive scrummage, a strong man. You know, we've had a good look at him and how we're going to counter him. One news line that's emerged from today, of course, David Wilson's not going to make the game. Um, but Dan Cole's probably someone you know as well as anybody. Tell me a bit about his readiness and how you think he'll handle the situation. Yeah, it's, it's a shame about Davey. Davey's neck impingement It's not quite ready for this week. He could be right for next week. Uh, we'll just keep monitoring that. But I've been working with Coley. We've got Kieran Brooks as well, who did very well for us in the Autumn Series. But you can't argue with the experience that Dan Cole's got from playing with us for the last four years. The experience that he got playing with the British Lions. So to have people like him available to come in when we lose David Wilson, is a real luxury. Start over the ball make a difference as well? The breakdown's going to be crucially important. It's a big part of Dan Cole's game. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's one of his uh, points of difference, if you like. Um, but he's got to scrum. Scrum, scrum, scrum first for us Friday night. And those added bonuses of how good he is in the defensive breakdown, well, they'll come in handy. What do you think England needs to get right in order to win the game? What are the key, key facets for you? Well, I, sp I spoke to the forward pack since we've been together about the set piece being a key battleground. The set piece and the breakdown. As I've always said, there's lots of breakdowns in the game, and you've got some very shrewd operators in the Welsh team. So there'll be key areas that have received a lot of focus from us this this last ten days. Dis discipline in your own half as well. Do you think with Lee Halfpenny's boot that was certainly a factor in the game two years ago, wasn't it? The way he managed to build a bit of a lead. Well, it's a factor in every game, Steve. Every every game, you know, Test rugby or club rugby, you can't be giving away daft penalties and giving them those easy points anywhere in your own half. But particularly Lee, you know, he did it for the Lions. You know, he's got a siege gun of a boot with a massive range on him, so we just can't give away those penalties. Full stop. It's finally, roof closed or roof open? What do you reckon? <laughs> We spoke about the roof a lot. Uh, we'll, we'll discuss that later in the week. We've got enough to worry about. <laughs> Cheers, Graham. Thanks a lot for your Cheers. time. Nice one.